Hello and welcome members GSS server project for managing identities in Azure AD exercise one and here in this project video I'm going to show you how you can manage your identities within your Azure portal and what are the basic things you really need to know and you really need to learn regarding this MD 101 because you know in the MD 101 you will have some introductory to Azure it's gonna be like you will see some labs some sort of configuration that will really introduce you and it's quite actually interesting because after managing Windows 10 stuff you will easily start taking stuff from Azure and then you will easily learn how to just initiate Azure environment within your Windows 10 environment so it is really exciting to start this whole project and all the videos so let's move to our ESXi VMware server machine and here on this whole host the VMware host we're going to implement the whole project and later on in the coming project videos I'm going to use the same VMware ESXi resources to show you how things work and where we need local machines so we'll we'll use those resources so let's move to the Azure portal so here we are successfully logged in to portal.office.com as you can see here and right now in this course you will find that this is a transition course to the Azure environment because MD 101 enables you you know that how to configure and manage Windows 10 system and it also provide you a barrier from Windows 10 environment to the Azure cloud and it enables you that how you can grab the new knowledge the new stuff related to the cloud so I really recommend guys to take this MD 101 course because it will create a baseline for you so after that base that has been built in your learning in your skill definitely that enables you and that will promote you motivate you to further learn about the cloud stuff the Azure stuff so here we are successfully log in and let's start the lab here and start the project now here on office 65 we're going to click to this app launcher and it's gonna open all these apps for you and here we're going to select the admin access the admin privilege because definitely we need to configure things so that's why we need to be on the admin account so here it is sometimes asked for the privacy for the password authentication because you know the cloud is too secure but right now we're going to skip this setup like that like I did so here we did what we skipped the whole this authentication setup and now we are redirected to the admin portal of portal.office.com and now on the left you have this user option because we need to manage identities so definitely the identities belongs to where to user so we're going to hover our mouse on left and click to the user and there you go you have active users contacts guest user deleted user so you can select any of the option as per your requirement but in terms of creating user it's better to work on the zero active directory because this is the office.portal.office.com so to launch the zero active directory from portal.office.com we're going to click to show all and then we'll start scrolling down and here under the admin centers we're going to find this Azure Active Directory. So let's click to launch this Azure Active Directory. And here again, it required this authentication process. So right now, I'm going to click Next. And then, similarly, like I did before, I'm going to skip this setup for this project video. So let's skip it. And here, on this Azure Active Directory we will have all the admin rights and privileges to create user to manage user now there you start seeing the dashboard and all the options so what you have to do 
click to the users from the left under your Azure Active Directory option and here you will start this all user and you will you can see all the created users we have so simply click to the new user and if you click here you will find these two options so first one is for creating regular user within your directory and the second one is for the guest where you invite any other resource any other user outside your organization to collaborate with your team or you want to you want them to use your your cloud apps your accesses so in that case you can invite any user and simple email will send to that user and the user need to click on the link that is provided on the email to get access within your Azure directory now here let me create a simple account so it's gonna be like GSS server project SP so it's like J triple SP and leave the rest of the stuff same and I'm going to use the name like J triple S P year then the name would be the first name GSS and his last name is SP the server project and let me create the password because it will generate automatically so we must aware about the password so I'm going to use my standard password here and now here on group all roles I'm not going to select any group here and for the usage location it is it is important while you're creating subscription you're adding account to the subscription or you are implementing certain features on specific group so if the user is a part of that group the user must comply with the location so right now I'm not going to set this thing and then but it don't bother you if you select the location while creating the group while creating the user so I'm going to select the location United States here and then once it done leave all the job info and let me save the password into the browser and then click to create so it will take a while to create the user so this is a very right and very easy way to create user on Azure portal and it's quite helpful and quite actually easy because everything is a GUI base and you have to click you have to just select certain options and most of the options you're already familiar with that if you're if you want to create user where you need to go these are some basic learnings you already did within your Windows 10 and MD 101 course so let's look at this stuff the whole stuff in terms of CLI how we can achieve that within the PowerShell now let's learn that how we can create users on Azure portal by using the PowerShell so let me launch the PowerShell first let's type Windows PowerShell and let's right click here on the PowerShell to launch it as the administrator so there you go there is a UX user account control and now we are logging to the administrator privilege of the PowerShell and here I'm gonna type install dash module space MS online enter now as we open this PowerShell on the administrator privilege so definitely it will install this module and there you go it requires your confirmation and we go with the yes so it will take a little time to install this feature within your machine so you could use whole feature to easily create your user on Azure by simply running CLI based commands on the PowerShell so let's wait until it is installed
once you start seeing the prompt again, then we have a command connect dash ms ol online ms ol service not online enter and now it will connect you with the service and require some authentication and here you need to provide your tenant id so i'm going to type mine ali at gss dmv2 dot on microsoft it's gonna be like microsoft.com so there you go you're connected with this ms online service so here we need to run a lengthy command and i'm just simply showing you the command like pasting because the whole command will take a lot of time to type so you just see this command here what we did we type new dash ms online user that user principal name and this would be the name of the user account so you can change this whole naming thing and it will create this account automatically so let me change so you can see all the necessary information that you mostly provide while creating a zero identity on the zero portal are here in a written form in a CLI you just need to type the string the value against each constant so let me execute this command by pressing enter first let me checking everything right so everything is fine and let's press enter now there you go the account is created password is just written in the beginning and the user principal name is mentioned there the display name and the license it says false so right now we didn't provide any license to this account so that's how you can use your powershell your cli your command lists to create user on azure and if you want to see the details right now you are seeing the detail that the user is already created but if you want to see the details of all the users so you can type get ms ol user and press enter so it will show you the details of each and every users you have on your azure and you can see it is also showing and mentioning the license detail that ali have the license the sajjad have the license and rest of the user don't have the license right now and all the created user are listed here under user principal name so that's all about this video and that's what we want to show you first we show you how to utilize how to use the GUI based environment as your portal to create user and then we showed you how to use CLI based environment your PowerShell to just simply run few command lines to create users and manage your Azure Active Directory and how to get connected with the Azure environment through your PowerShell. So that's it for this whole project video. And like I said in each and every video, to learn real world ID skill, must log on to jobskillshare.org. Thanks.